What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. Now before we get started with today's video, the road to 200 subs has now come to a close and we're now on the road to 500 subs. Who knows? Yeah, excuse me. Who knows? Maybe we might hit 500 subs by the end of the summer. Only time will tell. But as I have said in previous videos, Excuse me. Excuse me. If this channel does get to 500 subs, I will open up this Korean LOB booster box <clears throat> in its entirety on the channel that I got from my partners at Collector Store. So be sure to check them out. Link and address will be in the description below. By, by checking them out, not only does it support them, it also supports the channel. And I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. On the hopes to potentially pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Dark Magician, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, a Piece of Exodia, Monster Reborn, Pot of Greed, the possibilities are definitely out there. However, if this channel gets to 1,000 subs, I will open up this first edition Toon Chaos box <clears throat> in its entirety on, on the channel that I also got from my par partners at Collector Store. On the hopes of potentially pull a collector's rare out of this set. But it wouldn't be the first time that I pulled a collector's rare because I also pulled this. Freshly pulled out of my Genesis Impact box opening that I did last year is a collector's rare B Cop from the Underworld. This thing looks absolutely beautiful. Literally, is just gorgeous, you guys. The centering on the back is a bit off from top to bottom, as you guys can tell, but but honestly, it really doesn't make much of a damn, because I am going to be getting this card graded, but I never came up with a good opportunity to do so. But with that being said, <clears throat> with that being said, if you guys want if you guys want to see those boxes get opened, maybe you guys want more episodes of WWE's Biggest Issue. Maybe you guys want more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Biggest Issue, deck profiles, card discussions, WWE topic videos, or maybe, just maybe, you guys want some premium live event predictions and results. Well, if you guys want all of that and more, my channel is the place to be. So if you guys are new to the channel, and I know that a lot of you guys are, because more than 80% of you guys are watching the content, but you guys aren't even aren't even subscribed. So if you guys are watching the content, you like the content, and you want more of the content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, smash that thumbs up button on this video, and as always, make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I and and I want you guys guys to post in the comments below answering the question of the day, which, in a way, it kind of ties with today's video. But the question of the day is this: What would you consider to be the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh promo card in existence? Let me know down in the comments below. And for today's video, that is exactly what we are going to be talking about. We have a a fuck ton. Of promo of promo cards to talk about in today's video, some of which include the include the TCG, the OCG jump, in e and even the news jump promo has also been revealed as well. And honestly, looking at the promo at, at that jump promo, it's uh, <clears throat> it's 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 gonna be in interesting to say the very least, but. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's get straight into it. Now, I do want to point out as well that that we that we have both TCG and Rush Duel promos as well. So, I will be talking about about the Rush Duel cards as well, just because just because of the fact that they're there and you guys know, I don't talk about I don't talk about Rush Duels all that often unless it was like part of like a promo packers or or something like that. And this is one of those days. So, <clears throat> so let's get straight into it. Kicking things off, we have 
legendary dueling field which is a five star earth machine vanilla yeah vanilla with zero attack 3000 defense and something just came I don't know what the hell happened but something just came up I'll be right back you guys all right, you guys, we are back. Sorry about that. S sorry about this. Something just came up. I apologize, guys. But anyway, moving on. Moving on. Legendary Dueling Field, 5-star Earth Machine, Vanilla, 0 attack, 3,000 defense. It actually looked, looked pretty cool, if you ask me. Let me... I don't know how I could put this in focus... I don't think I'm going to be able to, but you guys can see it. But anyway, anyway, it's flavor text reads a field of battle who, for those who believe in the decks they built. Those who never turn their back back on any foes. Those brave enough to fight to to the very end to wage right deciding winners and losers. It said that when when they when they unite their hearts with the hearts of their cards through bonds and take a step forward by swearing on their pride and souls, they can cut open the road continuing on onto the as 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 of yet unfinished future. That's a pretty cool flavor text. That's a pretty cool flavor text if you ask me. Unfinished future. I like that. I like that. Kind of like uh, Cody Rhodes trying to finish the story. He has an unfinished future. And right now his future is trying to become the undisputed champion by finally defeating Roman Reigns. Which is uh, very interesting to say the very least. But not only that, not, but they're not the, but he's not the only ones cause, one. Because Bianca Belair and Montez Ford, they got a new show on Hulu called, called Love and WWE. Bianca and Montez. Just, and I'm being real. I just, I literally, literally just yesterday saw the first two episodes. Love it, love it. And I'm being real. It's even better than Total Divas. And I'm being real because I used to watch Total Divas back in the day. And now I, and I regret it, honest to to be fair. But now we have to move on. We gotta move on. To probably one of the dumbest cards I've ever seen with a dumb effect. Big Inflate Dragon. Which is an 8 star Wind Dragon, naturally. With, with 2500 attack, 1500 offense, and the effect reads as follows. If this card is normal summon. You can banish the top 50 cards of your deck face down. This card's attack becomes 10,000 until the end of the turn. Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty safe to say that this card is uh, definitely not going to get played in the meta. I can, I can guarantee you that right now. Not much else to say about that. I think the only way you could get your cards back into your deck is if you found is if you had is if you had cards like um cards like what cards like what what exchange of the spirit. I think it's like if you if you found a way to to synchro summon. Uh, what is it? Uh, Cyframe, Cyframe, Frame Lord Omega. And, and you just keep adding cards back into your graveyard. If you have, if you have Exchange of the Spirit, then you're pretty much just off to the races from there. But, yeah, that card, way too gimmicky. Way too gimmicky. Way too hard, hard to summon. No, it's, it's, no, it's just not that good. Not that good. Next up, we have... We have 
Ultimate Baseball Home Run King. Which is actually kind of funny. The, the artwork is actually kind of hilarious if you look at it. But it's a four-star fire warrior. So funny enough, Badlet Boxer can, can, can run this card, which is hilarious. <clears throat> With 1,500 attack, 300 defense. And, and the effect reads, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can have this card gain 1,000 attack. So, yeah, that's, um, yeah, uh, enough said. Enough said about, about this card, except holy shit. This card is actually, funny enough, not that bad. I mean, being able to start by destroying a weak, a weak opponent's monster, give, give this card an additional thousand and just keep, keep that ball, keep that ball rolling. The crazy part is that, is that, is that this is not, 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 not a once per turn. You can literally use this constantly. Almost as if it's like, almost as if it's, it's like a continuous trap, if you will, which is absolutely hilarious. Next up, we have the Legend of Tickets. I'm, I'm going to be real, looking at this artwork, it's actually kind of cool. And it's a normal spell that has a once per turn effect, which reads... Which reads, target one card in your grave at the start of the end phase of this turn. Place that card on the top of the deck. Also, you draw two cards for your normal draw during your next draw phase. So, basically, you ensure that you get, that you get your combo pieces. And you're pretty much just off to the races from there. Funny enough, even Black Wings. There are quite a, quite a few decks in the format, Black Wings included, that can run this card, which is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Next up, we have Time Dimension Hole. Which is a normal trap with a once per turn effect that reads, Shuffle your deck, then excavate the top card of your deck, and if the excavated card is a monster that could be normal summon or set, special summon it. Otherwise, otherwise, or if you can't special summon, place the excavated card on, on the top or bottom of the deck. So, I mean that that's not bad. Being able to being able to take take a take a card that you're able to <sighs> Hmm. That you're not able to summon and put and put back into the deck is actually not that bad. Bad, especially if that card is is, is a brick and you don't want that card in your hand. You can just put it put it on the bottom 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 of the deck, and you're just pretty much good good from there. So that's a pretty cool like. A, a pretty cool card to use to use in um in de in in decks like decks like Kashtira and um uh Battling Boxer is definitely de definitely an another one. Shark is definitely an, an definitely another one. Um there's quite a few. There's quite a few decks that, that can run this card actually. Now we move into the rush duel cards and the first one up is is Cannon the Sword Mistress. Which, funny enough, is actually in Duel Links, if my memory serves right. Which is hilarious. And it's a 4-star Earth Warrior Vanilla. <clears throat> with 1,400 attack and defense. And it's... And it's... And it's flavor text... Reads... Reads... A lady warrior armed with both sword and shield. She floats like a butterfly stings, and stings like a bee. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we all know that expression. We all know that, that expression. But they wrote it in, they wrote in the T, they wrote it in, in the TCG saying, A lady warrior armed with sword and shield. She floats lightly and stings sharply. Kind of dumb. Kind of dumb. I think the first one would have been better, but obviously, you guys know copyright bullshit. 
we all know, no copyrights here as always. <clears throat> but next up we have Excite Ground Dragon. Which is a 6 star Earth Dragon with 1900 attack and defense. And it has no requirement, but but its effect reads, reads, if your opponent controls three monsters, if you would conduct a normal draw during, during the draw phase, you can draw until you, until you draw five cards. Instead, you instead draw until you have six. So that's actually pretty good. Being able to give you a sixth draw is actually kind of, is actually pr pretty good because with because with rush duel you can normal summon as many times as you want literally you can normal summon as many times as you want where as opposed to to actual actual Yu-Gi-Oh you would need cards like um <clears throat> excuse me cards like uh uh double summon blackwing the thunder starlight just to name name a couple to conduct your to conduct a second normal summon in in addition to your original normal summon which yeah uh rush duel yeah this card is actually pretty pre pretty decent in my honest opinion next up we have LED pigeon which is a 3 star light wing light winged beast with zero attack and defense, and the and and the and the requirement says send the top card of the deck to the grave. The effect reads: choose one face up monster your, your opponent controls. It gains a thousand attack, and it cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. That's I mean that's not bad. That's not that that's that's not bad, but it's actually kind of hilarious because the effect reads: target a face up monster your opponent controls. Meaning that monster gain meaning your opponent's monster gains a thousand attack. Kind of a bad deal if you ask me. It's funny, but really bad. Really, really fucking bad. I believe we have two more cards. Yes, we, we have two more cards in, in, in this one, and then we got the jump promo. So next up we have we have Dream Concert. <clears throat> Which is a field spell, and the requirement says shuffle five monsters with zero with zero defense from from your grave back into the deck, and the effect reads: while this card is face up in in a, in in a field zone, face up monsters on the field gain five hundred attack. I mean, it's not bad. Kind of a really bad, you know, really bad like seal of Warrior calcos, but still, it's pretty pretty decent. Pretty decent. I mean, obviously there aren't a whole lot of like rush duel cards that 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 have that that are equipped spells. So that's probably like one of the best ones you're gonna get. <clears throat> and in in this matter, but last up we have Cheater's Hidden Ball Trick, which is a normal trap, and the requirement says. Says when when your opponent's monster declares an attack, shuffle twenty monsters from your grave back in, into the deck. The effect reads: destroy the attacking monster, and you take no battle damage during this turn. That's not bad. It's sort of like a really bad like. It's sort it's sort of like a really bad like like negate like negate attack, but it's a bit better than but it's a bit better than um. Than uh, uh, dra uh, draining shield in my in my honest opinion. There's a note that there's a note underneath that says that says this card is, is a reference to both hidden ball tricks in baseball and some con and 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 a kanji. Hold on, let me. And the song, it's actually, it's, it's actually, apparently it's, 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 it's translated to the song. There's, there's, there's like, like two little kanji, uh, uh, texts. Um, being, being the nickname of 
Matoki Daisuke, a former player of the Tokyo Giant, due to his propensity for being for using hidden ball tricks. Nice little reference right there. But now we gotta talk about the jump promo. Now, if you guys if you guys remember the last jump promo we had, we had what was known as Spell Card Monster Reborn, which was basically Dark Magician support. Now we have another form of that card, but for blue eyes. It is known as Spell Card Soul Exchange. I bullshit you not. It is literally called Spell Card Soul Exchange. Which is a normal spell that has two separate effects. And the first effect reads, immediately af after this effect resolves, tribute summon one monster. And if you do, it cannot be tributed this turn. Oh, tribute summon one monster. And if you do, it cannot be tributed this turn. When you do, you can tribute a monster your opponent controls. Even though you even though you do not control them. Second effect reads if this card is sent from the field to the grave, activate this effect. Your opponent can can apply this card's first effect. Damn. Just damn. Um Yeah, uh not much left to say about about, about this card. All I can say is that is that is that this card plus spell card monster reborn could potentially help make the meta even better, but I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. So you basically have have yourself self the original soul exchange, but on steroids. Not much else to say about that, but but with that being said, guys, that will do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more card discussions in the future, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.